And what is the digestive process here? Any takers? Retrieving nutrients. Daniel, thank you. The idea here is that if somebody came over to you and said, bro, what's going on in your gut right now? You'd be able to say, well, take a seat. <laughs> I'm gonna take you for the digestive highway chore. We've got these four cars at the beginning of this winding path. If you can see, this is a really tight winding path. Who's gonna make it the fastest through here? Uh, the health corps coordinator is given a budget and put in a school and they say, assess this community's health needs and then address them using this money and your ingenuity. And so, uh, you know, Judy at South Shore has a meditation program. Last year, Jenny had a hula hooping program at Cathedral. This year at Lincoln, I teach anywhere from five to 15 lessons a week. We have a health corps cadets program where we're teaching a couple students how to do what I do on a peer level. In this case, these digestive enzymes are gonna be represented by this banana. So, guys, we've got it in the stomach. What happens in the stomach? It starts mushing. So we gotta mush this up, right? Oh. Ben isn't like the other teachers who go up to the board and say, hey, blah, 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 here's a paper, do what you gotta do. You know, he goes into detail, he's really personal. If it was any other teacher, you know, probably be really boring. It's just the way you teach it. Make, it, make me want to listen to you. And for our purposes, the small intestine is going to be represented by this, what used to be a stocking. And so some of this stuff is coming out. Yeah, we oh. We've got this stuff, it's dripping out, right? And those are the nutrients leaving. I used to eat like only like pizza or Burger King or fast food kind of things, you know. My mom would make chicken at home mm -hmm. and I would say, no thanks, I got Burger King, I'm good. Do you need to go get fast food instead? Yeah. I actually got this yesterday. I ate a piece of pizza, but it had pineapple on it, so that makes it healthy, right? A lot of people, a lot of people look at, at health as if it's uh, some sort of bargain, like you can bargain with it. I wasn't feeling well. Um, I had kind of like an episode where I had, a, I don't know whether it was a sugar rush or something, but it was, it, it, it was kind of like a sign to tell me that I really have to change my eating habit. You know that the donut is not healthy. <laughs> Potato, apple, and you said broccoli, right? How about oatmeal? You don't like oatmeal? And so what are your eating habits like now? I eat a lot of fruits. Mm -hmm. um, I have a good breakfast. I'd have eggs in the morning. Um, I would have a good dinner. My mom would make something. All the nutrients, if you notice, have been taken out. All the nutrients have been taken out. Now they're going to various places in your body to power your body or, or enliven your mind or, or help you sleep through fifth period math, which some of you do. There are a lot of challenges getting kids to be healthy. I had one student uh, who lost 50 pounds and then she's like, my bikini looks so good in Puerto Rico. Um, I had another student who started eating more regularly and now he, his GPA has gone up by five points and he, he's lifting more weights because he's on the football team, which is awesome. It's the small things that make a difference. For instance, when people say, I eat breakfast now, or whenever I go to eat a Pop-Tart, I see your face and it creeps me out. While funny is also, it's a good moment because though it's hard to tell, you know that you are getting across. I mean, the ultimate thing that gets me up in the morning is I, is I know I'm making a difference. and I know the kids are, the students here have a better day and therefore a better life just by coming down here, which is great.